what is going on radar force um got a little different video here um i've been hunting for old games uh from nes all the way to well all the way up to modern uh basically uh, i've been going to thrift stores goodwills habitat for humanity and all that good stuff and i've i went to three stores well i went to like six stores out of those six stores three of them had a decent amount of games so uh, I'll show you what I picked up from three stores. Other stores I just passed because they only had one or two games. And they were trash. Well, anyways, I'll show you what I have uh, down below us. Okay, so I have a stack of games here. And a, a super slim PS3 with, con with the controller. Um, so let's talk about the stash here. So I picked this stash up at a thrift store. Uh, no, sorry. I picked up this stash here at the local Habitat for Humanity. Uh, I think all of these are three dollars a piece, pretty much. Some of them are three, some of them are four, which is a decent deal. I can almost double my profit on all of them. I got Pro Project Gotham Racing Two. It also came with the arcade disc for the original Xbox, which is super sick. I actually, I think I'm gonna keep this for my personal collection just because I love the original Xbox. Um, also, I found Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Not a rare game. I can, I, like I said, I can double my profit. Uh, also, possibly may keep that one. Battlefield Bad Company 2. Uh, probably going to keep that one as well, just because I've never played the Battlefield games. Battlefield 1. Haven't played that one either, and I'm a 360 guy. Saints Row the Third. Not sure if this is any good at all. I know I can make money off of it. Not much money, but a little bit. Uh, probably going to keep that too, because I've never played Saints Row either. And there's Saints Row 2. Dead Space I have for the PS3, but... I prefer Xbox 360, and a lot of you guys will probably hate me for that, but I'm probably going to keep that one too. Dead Rising, I'm definitely going to keep that. I played this one time. It's a it's a zombie shooter, I think, in the mall or something like that. You're in a mall, and it's been a long time I played it. And then Borderlands, I'm keeping that because I never played Borderlands. So that's what I got from the Habitat for Humanity. I think I picked up all that all them games for like 33 bucks. Not bad. Uh, if I were to flip them, I could double my profit and sell them probably make about 60 ish bucks and double my profit so that's what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to buy games uh keep the ones i want and flip the rest and well i'll explain that later um next store we'll go to the next store this was a local store a thrift store in my town um let's pull that over actually we'll just pull it right here so i picked up battlefield one i have no idea i don't even own a ps4 believe it or not uh, I have PS3. I don't have anything, any PlayStation above that. Um, Battlefield 1, I don't know if this is a remake of Battlefield Bad Company. I guess not. I guess it's just a different game. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 for the Wii. I think I'm going to sell this game. Well, I'm going to sell that game too. But let me know in the comments if I should keep any of these. Uh, I'm going to sell that one. Uh, I picked up this because it looked cool, although I know like most of the sports games are trash. Uh, MLB Superstars for the Wii. Probably going to sell that. Uh, Cabela's Big Game Hunter. Probably going to sell that. Then I got Summer Athletics, the Ultimate Challenge for the Wii. I picked it up because sometimes these games can be fun, but probably going to sell that one. I also got this bunch from the same store. These were selling them for $4 a piece. Uh, in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have purchase any of these i got some ps1 games though that's what kind of made me want to buy them. they had a they had a like four or five ps1 games in the case except for most of them were sports i picked this one up because you can actually make some decent profit off of this one uh warzone um in nice condition actually i'm probably going to keep that one unfortunately just because it's cool will of fortune <laughs> second edition uh, i'm going to keep this for now just because it looks cool it not really that one i kind of break even on for buying that for four dollars i got battlefield four uh i think i'm gonna keep that one let me know again never heard of this game uh brink never heard of it but it looks really cool so i'm thinking i'm gonna keep it assassin's creed revelations um i played assassin's creed one and two uh and and i had them i don't know i think they got stole but i'm trying to buy the assassin's creed game so i'm gonna keep that i got wipeout for the wii i know it's a trash game but it looks fun, so I'm going to keep it. It looks like a fun party game. And then I picked up Borderlands 2 to go with my Borderlands 1 copy when I got from the store. So definitely keeping that. And then uh, probably the best pickup I got from this store 
Star Wars Battlefront 2. I have the first one for the original Xbox. Oh, this game is really good. I play, I used to rent it as a kid, so definitely hype about that one. Uh, the last store I went to was actually the first one I went to. Um, as you see, a trash game right in front of you. Definitely selling Connectimals, however you pronounce it. Connectimals, yeah. Uh, some PS2 games. Super Truck Racing. I'm probably going to keep this one just because I like... I had a racing uh, PS2 game as a kid, and I really enjoyed it. Gun. This Never heard of this game. But it actually looks pretty fun, so I'm keeping that one. Dynasty Warriors 4. Uh, I'm keeping this one too, I think. It looks like it's also fun. Uh, ATV Off-Road Fury 2. I think I'm going to keep this game. Uh, I, I I loved the I had a dirt bike game as a kid. I think it was like something motocross, something. Unleashed. Motocross Unleashed. And I'm, I'm going to find it one day and put it in my collection. But that reminded me of that, so I'm probably going to keep that. And then we got Connect Adventures for 360. I do have a Connect. Never actually played the Connect on the 360, so this one looks like it's going to be decent. I know that it's trash for the 360, but I'm going to keep it. Uh, what I really got a good deal on is this super slim PS3 with controller. Well, the controller is missing buttons, so they actually gave me this for free. It actually fully works. Uh, I went ahead and cleaned it. I, I, and I ordered the buttons to replace that and the rubber pad. So it's a fully functional silver controller, which goes for like, I think, 15 to 20 bucks by itself. Um, and then the console. I got the console for 25 bucks, and, and it fully works. The only thing, when I got it, it would not power on. The rubber pad, like, like in the remotes, the rubber pad that makes contact with the circuit board is missing. I, I can short it out with uh, some... Um, tweezers I, I took it apart went ahead and fully took this thing apart and cleaned it because it was filthy uh, i took it apart cleaned it uh, reapplied thermal paste on the cpu and gpu uh, lasers work i tested ps1 and ps3 games they work fine on this thing um unfortunately this doesn't have a hard drive inside of it i don't know if i can get it out with one hand yep doesn't have a hard drive inside of it so this must have been like the 12 gigabyte like standard flash memory i think is what they called it uh, I, I have a hard drive, but I don't have the hard drive bay for it, so I can't install it, install 40 gigabytes of this thing, but I may do that in the future. I'm glad, I'm not going to sell this one because I have a, a fat PS3 model, and the, I have the backwards compatible PS3 model, which I've had to reflow the GPU twice, so it's just kind of shot. So I'm probably just going to stick to my PS2 to play PS2 games, but I do want a very reliable PS3 system, so that's why I got that one, because if... Once my backwards compatible PS3 conks out, and this one, if it ever conks out, I'll have a reliable PS3. So that's what I picked up from the store. So just to recap, uh, here is all the games and the console that I got. PS3, super slim, fully working with the controller that is just missing buttons, which I have coming in. And all the games. How many games is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 28 games. Um, I think I spent... 115 ish bucks on all of this um i'm keeping some i could i could like almost i could make a little more than double if i sold all of these uh but i'm trying to trying to uh, up my game collection a little bit but some of these games i'm definitely going to keep some of them i'm not um but what i'm trying to do with this i'm, I'm actually making a new series and i guess this would be episode one uh, every week or so, I'm going to go to thrift stores and buy some games that I can at least make money on or ones that I definitely want for my collection. To expand that, the rest, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell them and flip them. And all the money I make from these games are going to go into my game collection. So I'm in, I am invested 120 bucks in all of these, except for the I'm, I'm excluding the console because I wanted that. <laughs> That's definitely what I wanted. So if you minus the console out, I got a hundred. I got ninety five bucks in all of this, minus the console. So I invested basically a hundred dollars in these games. I'm gonna try to double it, try to make two hundred. Then I got two hundred dollars to spend on uh, my gaming collection, as well with, and as well as well as buying more things from thrift shops to expand my profits, so I can buy more games. So. From this point on, I'm not going to be spending any more of my money until stuff like this sells. And I get uh, basically a virtual wallet of money, per se. And then I'm going to buy more games to flip 
and to keep. And we're going to try to see how long this works and see if I can actually build up enough money to actually buy some games that I want. And until then, uh, we're going to keep going to thrift stores and trying to find some rare games, hopefully. Um, I think the most expensive game I bought out of this was probably Battlefront 2, which I'm keeping, unfortunately. And then probably like Borderlands. None of these are too expensive, but so far I've been buying them for $3 a piece to five dollars a piece i'm not going to spend anything over five dollars for a game five dollars is kind of pushing it so unless it's a rare game of course if i know the game is like forty dollars yeah i'll spend five dollars on a game or more but for these yeah they're if you get one for four you can make basically double your profit most of these are selling for ten dollars complete in box so that's the goal the goal is to at least double everything but yeah so that's it. I'm super hyped about this PlayStation 3, man. Super Slim is, is an amazing model PS3. Although the fat ones look amazing, it's just reliable. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Let me know if I should keep any of these games uh, or which ones to just give, or not give away, but sell. Let me know. I got some of the games for selling, sell for, out of my personal collection. But other than that, you guys take care. Have a good one. Peace.